all aircraft carriers developed by, designed for, or in service with Russia's naval forces are included in the list of Russian aircraft carriers. Despite their designation as aircraft carriers, neither of them is genuine aircraft carriers, excluding the never-built Ulyanovsk supercarrier. They were all ASW helicopter carriers or aircraft ships, such as the Admiral Kuznetsov, the Russian Navy's lone carrier still being in service. Russia is discussing constructing a supercarrier known as Project Storm. Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's only carrier and the only ship of its class, has probably been criticized or plagued more than any other aircraft carrier. So, let's have a glimpse at the features of a Russian aircraft carrier that is currently in service. Admiral Kuznetsov Admiral Flota Sovetskogo Soyuza Kuznetsov is the Russian Navy's flagship aircraft carrier, massive aircraft cruiser in Russian category. It was designed to be the main ship of the two-ship Admiral Kuznetsov class when it was launched in the Soviet Navy. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, its sister ship Varyag was still unfinished. Ukraine ended up selling the second hull to China, which was finished in Dalian and launched as Liaoning. Admiral Kuznetsov has been out of service since July 2021 for a repair. During the repair in November 2018, it was destroyed by a 70-ton crane that fell from the mobile dry dock PD-50 and a fire that killed two people. The dry dock, that sank because of a power failure while carrying Admiral Kuznetsov, was critical to the carrier's restoration, and it is not scheduled to return to duty till 2022 at the latest. The ship was planned to undergo post-repair sea trials in mid-2023 and re-enter the fleet later that year, according to Vladimir Korolev, vice president of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, who informed the TASS media outlet in 2021. Transiting the Turkish Straits The categorization of Admiral Kuznetsov as an aircraft-carrying cruiser is crucial underneath the Montru Convention, as it enables the ship to pass through the Turkish Straits. The Straits of Hormuz Convention forbids nations from deploying aircraft carriers over 15,000 tons through the Straits. Admiral Kuznetsov would have been trapped in the Black Sea if Turkey had rejected permission to pass into the Mediterranean Sea because the ship was manufactured in the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. The convention, on the other hand, makes no provisions for the dispersion of capital ships controlled by Black Sea states. Neither any signatory to the Montreux Convention ever lodged a formal complaint of Admiral Kuznetsov's categorization as an aircraft carrying cruiser, and Turkey authorized it to traverse the straits. History Admiral Kuznetsov has a fascinating background to say the very least. It was built in 1985 as Leonid Brezhnev, went through naval exercises as Tbilisi, and was formally inaugurated as Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Kuznetsov in 1990. It was planned to be the Soviet Union's first true carrier in many ways. Only Ka-27 or Ka-31 helicopters or the Yak-38 vertical takeoff and landing aircraft could be carried in previous lessons. The Kuznetsov on either hand had a new Sukhoi Su-33 fighter jet and Su-25 UTG fighter jet as well as helicopters. A further first for the Soviet Navy would have been for the aircraft to take off from a snowboard ramp. It did, however, share a huge missile arsenal with the other Soviet carriers, 12 radar-guided P-700 Granite anti-ship cruise missiles and 190 Pro missiles. Admiral Kuznetsov was not completely operational till 1995, due to the fall of the Soviet Union. Varyag, its cruise liner, was sold to a Chinese investor in 1998 with the intention of converting it into casinos. That ship has become the Liaoning, China's first aircraft carrier, as well as the model for the Shandong, the country's second. Design the Admiral Kuznetsov's design suggests a role distinct from that of the U.S. Navy's aircraft. The Russian ships are known as Tiaz Holi Avian Sushchi Kreiser, heavy aircraft carrying cruiser, and are built to assist and protect Russian Navy strategic rocket submarines, surface ships, and Navy missile carrying planes. The multi-role Sukhoi Su-33 is Admiral Kuznetsov's principal fixed-wing aircraft. 
It has the capability to undertake air supremacy, fleet defense, and air support operations, as well as direct fire support for amphibious assaults, recon, and the deployment of naval explosives. The Kamov Ka-27 and Kamov Ka-27S helicopters for anti-submarine warfare, mountain rescue, and small cargo are also carried by the cruiser. Breakdowns Admiral Kuznetsov has a reputation for failures and malfunctions since entering the Northern Fleet in 1991. In January 2009, it caught fire off the coast of Turkey, killing one of the crew members. It was engaged in an oil leak off the coast of Ireland a month later, spilling an average 300 metric tons of oil into the sea. Multiple times, the ship has been in port for prolonged repairs. Because of the frequent failures and accidents, the carrier was trailed by a tanker carrying extra pipes for maintenance. When it set sail, it was also reported to be trailed by an ocean-going tug. Despite the multiple pit strategy, it was photographed spitting large clouds of smoke as it headed to Syria in 2016 for Seoul Combat Tour, which was marred by further difficulties. Because of the carrier's restraining wire kept snapping during landings, two jets, a Su-33 and a MiG-29K splashed into the water. The rest of the carrier's air wing was obliged to be shifted to Syria's Kamaiman Air Base due to the difficulty. Overhaul and Upgrade Admiral Kuznetsov's overhaul and upgrading is planned to be finished in the first half of 2023. The cockpit, control tower, electrical equipment, and power plant will all be rebuilt. The carrier will also have a new totally domestic flight operations control system, with no changes to the aboard air power. The ship is not projected to be operational till the end of 2023. Russia's Future Carrier Russia has put a lot of money on modernizing Admiral Kuznetsov and keeping a carrier potential. The carrier's aircraft capability has been boosted from 24 to 26 jet fighters and up to 12 aircrafts as a result of the overhaul. The improvements will also modernize the avionics and motor system, and the P-700 missiles will most likely be removed. Russia has also made efforts to replace or modernize the old Su-33, which is solely competent of air combat and has minimal ground attack capabilities. The MiG-29K, a maritime derivative of the MiG-29, is projected to play a bigger part in Russian carrier air wings in the future. The Ka-52K Katran Apache helicopter may potentially be carried by the ship. The Russian Navy is not ready to abandon carriers, as evidenced by the amount of time, effort, and money invested. The Russians will keep on talking about carriers, noting that the current efforts are at the very least preserving certain expertism that when they do have carriers, they can extend that rather than recreating the wheel. There has been talk of establishing a brand new carrier and several designs have been proposed. However, there is disagreement in Russia about whether this is even worth it, with the reality that Russia has a dismal record when it comes to building carriers at the forefront. Aside from Kuznetsov disasters, Russia's only other historical carrier project, the conversion of the Kiev-class Admiral Steam, the steam into the INS Vikramidya for the Indian and armed forces was plagued by huge costs and production delays. While Russia is developing two supercarriers to compensate the two Mistral-class ships, it just never got. They are less than a carrier and would only be able to deploy drones and helicopters. The Russians will constantly boast about creating a blue water fleet with carriers and things like that, Edmonds predicted. However, possessing the skill, infrastructure, and skill to construct one is a long way off. Despite the difficulties, Russian officials have stated that Admiral Kuznetsov's sea trials will commence in 2022. Even while the fleet keeps on developing its concentration to tiny missile-laden warships and submarines, the aircraft, like the Russian Navy's other cloud-based platforms, will likely be used to flaunt the flag and symbolize Russia's naval status once fully implemented.